Well, it appears as though one of the city's liquor licenses might be up for grabs. In an unusual about face, one of Moody Street's clubbiest bars closed this week, making room for an organization with plans to set up a mosque in its place. Jeff Abelard and Bobby Murgo, the owners of The New Landing, lost their bar at a foreclosure auction last month. They were unable to pay their mortgage and owed the city unpaid taxes. In May, they appeared before the city's license commission to say they were in trouble. So, I mean, is that we're the, in a tough spot. We, uh, yeah. we opened up. Yeah, I think you were. Yeah. We're in a tough spot, absolutely. Yeah. Reps from the Waltham Islamic Society, based currently in this house off School Street, said they have an arrangement to buy the property from the current owner, with a closing date of July 1st. Board member Youssef Rahim, the owner of Waltham India Market, whose store was profiled in 2010, said their current place of worship on Park Place is insufficient. On their website, the Islamic Society said, after renting space for the past 12 years and serving the needs of its growing Muslim community, Waltham Islamic Society has raised $450,000 to purchase a building on Moody Street. The society sees the move as, quote, an opportunity to acquire a suitable building for establishing Islamic activities in this area and teaching values to the children, end quote. The new landing opened in 2008. Early on, it developed a reputation for trouble. On repeated occasions, the owners were called before the License Commission to answer for fights and underage drinking. The landing had almost entirely cleaned up its act in its final years and has since become one of Moody Street's most popular bars. Yeah, I think you've done a great job since, you know, the year and a half that uh, the last time you were in, so it looks like you're pretty well controlling the, the operations at this point. If all goes as scheduled, next year, 313 Moody Street will be a very different place. For Waltham News Watch, I'm Allison Izzo.